Hi everybody, this is D again. You know me as D for three on the forums, and this is a portrait tutorial. Uh, this will show you how to find the portrait that you want to overwrite in NBA 2K17 Explorer. It will also come with a template for you to use. Uh, the link will be below this video, and it will show you how to import your portrait into the game. The tools you'll need for this is the NBA 2K17 Explorer, NBA 2K17 Limnono modifier, You'll need the external plugin, which is the modded folder, and a photo editing program, so like paint.net, which is free. I'll give you a link to that. GIMP or Photoshop, which would be the most ideal. So first thing you do is select your portrait. So for me, if I don't want to cut around a picture or sculpt a picture um, to you know take artifacts out or you know a crowd behind a player or anything, um, what I'll do is I'll type in PNG after the name and search for an image. So just for test purposes, you want to first off make sure that the image is large. So I usually select that. But for just for te test purchase purposes, I did NBA PNG. So we're going to select this Dwight Howard right here. If you notice, there's a checker board pattern behind him. This means that it is a transparent PNG and um, it's going to be easy to convert. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit view image and we're going to save this Dwight Howard and we're going to put it in NBA 2K17 mods portraits and I'm going to call this D12 oh. oh actually I already have it saved in here as Jugador Orlando those are other portraits that me and my brother have done so um, what we're going to do is we're going to go into paint.net now this is um, a default NBA 2K17 portrait of Vernon Maxwell. So you can use a portrait like this as a base, and this is actually going to be what I supply you in the um, in the forum. So you'll have this Vernon Maxwell portrait to use as a base. So what we're going to do is we're going to open um, that Dwight Howard. There he is. And we want to make sure that it matches up size-wise with the Vernon Maxwell. The biggest thing here is making sure the head is in the same spot. If you notice at all NBA 2K17's portraits, there the head is roughly in the same spot. So what we're going to do is first check the size of this. So we're going to go canvas, uh, excuse me, resize, and it's 1024 by 1024. And this is re a really quick bang up job of it. This is not, um, you're obviously probably going to want to pay a little bit more attention to detail here. But again, you'll have a base to work off of. So obviously he got a little bit resized there, but that's the size that we want. And I'm just going to quickly size him down. And like I said, this is a really quick job. Yeah, let's see here. Oops. Butterfingers. You know what? That's pretty good. So what I'm going to do, and this is just a, a weird thing for me, is I'm actually going to cut him out or copy I mean I'm gonna cut out the Vernon Maxwell and then I'm just gonna paste Dwight Howard over him oops all right and so I'm gonna do file save and actually wait a minute I'm gonna do file save as my apologies and we're going to do it as a DDS and I'm going to call this D12 and it's going to go just right in here and there's something already in there the D12 but I'm going to say yes so then what we're going to do is I always have this as iterative fit um, the slowest highest quality uniform generate mit maps nearest neighbor blah 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 so I'm going to hit OK there so then what we're going to do is we are going to select the file in NBA 2K17 Explorer that we want to overwrite. So you can find players, you know, some of the free agents from last year are still in here. For example, if you go into 1152, 
go into if editor you're gonna see oh, I don't know why it's doing that you're gonna see oops okay that's another thing it has to say a1 at the end to be the body portrait so let's we gotta go down to a1 1152 so let's go here Eleven fifty-two, and I just know this one's okay to overwrite just because we've been doing it for a while. So here's this, and we're gonna go here, and this is gonna be a body portrait for um, for Ben Gordon, who's no longer a free agent and no longer technically in the game. So what you're gonna do is you're going to right-click. By the way, this is OK Archive, so OK. So you're gonna hit Import here. You're gonna find your D12 d12.dds and let it do its thing and then when you click on it oops once it's done you should see Dwight Howard there he is so what we're gonna do is now you save the file and you can actually save this right into your modded folder. So let's do um, games. Modded. And then boom. Okay. So 1152 is the portrait ID that's been saved into the modded folder. We can X out of this now. Let's pull up our game. And we're going to put the portrait in, and then that will conclude our broadcast day. This is going to work slightly slower than it normally does, just for the fact that it's in windowed mode, uh, so I can show you this. So thank you for your patience. It's also because I have other things open in the background and, and whatnot. But take the time, you know, another good thing is in the high 8000s, there's a lot of portraits that are not used in the game. They may be of current players, but it looks like secondary options for them. Um, maybe people that they used for my team, etc. I'm not sure. All right. So what we're going to do here is we're going to open up the Limnono modifier. So let me get that open. And we're going to do this actually on test one. And if you're listening to that music, it's actually the custom music that I put in the game. I did a jukebox tutorial on this game as well. So let me see. I'm using a, wi a new wireless mouse, so that's why this is struggling a little bit. All right, so we're going to go... So you're going to hit F1. And then what we're going to do is let's find, um, for the hell of it, we'll, we'll just go to Dwight Howard. On the Hawks. Oh, that's, uh, right now we have a Lodge 1 over Dwight Howard just because we were messing around with it. But anyway, so let's go to Dwight Howard. And we're going to put in 1152. If it's 15156, if it shows a portrait ID like this, that's not the right one. So that's not the right Dwight Howard. This is the right Dwight Howard. So we're going to put in 1152 here and hit refresh roster list. I'm going to go back to the game. I'm going to cycle through a little bit and our portrait should be in the game. And there it is. So huge rush job, but you get how easy it is if you find a, a PNG. Um, you know, if you find a PNG that's basically all cut out for you with a transparent background, how easy it is to put a portrait in the game. Um, so I'll list the links to all the tools that you need um, and and the template of Vernon Maxwell in order for you to you know get started making your own por uh, portraits. If you have any questions, please ask on the thread, and you have a great day.